guys welcome back to my channel today I am doing an adore me haul um, I am back at a hotel just in case you're curious of this new situation I've been trying to film in my room and honestly it's just so small that I just kind of hate um, I don't want to stand on my bed anymore it's so uncomfortable and I feel like I'm honestly kind of afraid I'm gonna break my bed every single time I stand on it so I rented a hotel room I took some photos yesterday with my girlfriends they came over we had like four hours of shooting time and I'm filming about five videos this morning so I think it's worth it in the long run um, I am getting a lot of use out of the space so anyway disclaimer yes I did rent this um, hotel tonight did not put me up the hotel did not put me up I rented this hotel with the purpose of shooting I'm at the hotel on Rivington um, in the Lower East Side it's one of my favorite hotels um, especially to shooting because I feel like it has such great light I'm on like the 11th floor and this room is is insane you can't really see much because I'm literally just like in a tiny little portion here but when I do the try on you'll get it like a better view anyway moving on adore me um I reached out to because I wanted to work with them again I felt like you guys had a really good response to the last box I did from them and I know that they have some swim so I wanted to try their swim I didn't have any of their nude bras so I wanted to try that disclaimer also uh, I accidentally ordered two of the same bra so I actually gifted one of the bras to a friend who needed one for a shoot she was doing today but it's literally the exact same bra um, I just ordered two on accident um, anyway I'm gonna jump right into it but yes this box was gifted I think this box comes out to about $500 just so you guys know in terms of pricing I'm not gonna link anything below because I ordered these a little while ago so I'm not sure if everything's available but I'll just link the website and all the information you need down below but thank you to adore me for um, sending me over this box of goodies first thing right off the bat um, is something I shot in yesterday so that's why it's on the top so it's this really cute twin set this is the bottoms and I will say these are super cheeky like my booty was like having a field day and these just out and in charge when we were shooting I kept having to like pull them down because I was feeling a little insecure so if you live with roommates maybe don't wear these outside of your bedroom um, I will wear this set but it's definitely going to be inside of my room and then I'll put another pair of pants on um, I live with roommates so I don't really feel like flashing them but I think it's really cute I love the little details on the bottom it's very very comfortable like silky stretch material um, I wish that they had more or maybe they do if you guys have had any pieces from them they're in this sort of material definitely comment below and let me know because maybe I should try it um, I just love the way this feels on my body um, and I got this set in a 1x just in terms of sizing this is the top it's like sort of a faux peplum it's sort of like comes out a little bit on the hips it creates a really nice shape has this like line seam line down the bottom I love this set I don't really have anything bad to say about it um, I did have to tighten it quite a bit on the top when we were taking photos yesterday just because like I didn't want to flash the goodies to the world so um, you know it does have room for um, extra boobage I think because I'm so small chested like I just tighten it because I felt like I was kind of falling out of it because I don't have anything here um, so yeah anyway really really love this set and highly recommend it I've been wanting to try more of their lounge pieces because I only really have like I'm actually wearing a set from um, Universal Standard but I'm really like into like more comfortable like um, I don't know more I'm trying to think of the word but I've really been feeling the lounge where I feel like before I started even with a um, universal set I feel like most of what I had was like sweatpants so I still have a couple things from um, adore me's like long I feel like it's their loungewear like athletic line but I looked and they kind of took it off of the site so I don't know if it's like non-existent anymore or if they just like you know paused on it but I had like um, a tank top and pants set that I really like from the last box I had so I was hoping to get that in this set um, or in this box rather but they didn't have anything so anyway I, I just want to like upgrade my loungewear basically is what it, the long story short version of that
piece um, I've already featured on my Instagram. I actually took it upstate um, this past week. It is this uh, gray lined um, striped dress and it's really, really cute. I will say I'm not the biggest fan of the lace on the front. I kind of wish it wasn't lacy, but that's just me. I don't really wear a lot of lace in life um, generally, but I do think it's really, really soft. It's really, really comfortable. I did size up on this for some reason. I think maybe I looked at the measurements. I'm not entirely sure. I ordered this box a little while ago. Um, but it does fit pretty perfectly. So, I mean, it has a lot of stretch. I like my loungewear a little oversized. So if you are a bigger girl, you may want to size up on this particular piece. Just, you know, giving you a heads up on that. It fits really well through the cups as well. I feel like, I mean, there's room through here and because it's like stretch material, if you have bigger boobs, I think you'll have a little like allowance and give, but I really like it. I think it's, you know, long enough where I feel comfortable in walking around my roommates. Um, just don't bend over and my friend was like, I can see your entire booty. I'm like, okay, so maybe I won't bend over around my roommates. Um, anyway, that is the lounge pieces that I have here. There is a silk robe as well, so maybe I'll pull that out. And I honestly, after feeling the first piece I showed you, that little romper set, I was hoping that this silk robe would be in the same material, but it's a starchy silk that I'm not the biggest fan of. I did get this on a 1X as well, and it kind of fits a little weirder on the neck. You'll see it on. I feel like I would have preferred this in that stretch one, so it had a bit more hang to it. This one just feels like it's a little stiff. And maybe that'll change when I wash it. Um, it is 100% polyester I'm reading right now too. It does have the little tie straps in the inside, which I love. I like being able to really close things up and know that they're not gonna just come exploding open. Um, or if they do, at least I have like that security blanket. But it's a good length on me. I just feel like it's a little starchy and yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna pull it out to wear, to be honest, just because I don't love the way the material feels. I really wish it was in that stretch, like um, silk jersey that I had before, because I just feel like it would be such a nice piece. But this just feels a little cheap, to be honest. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on this particular robe. Like I wanted a silk robe, but I feel like maybe in my head, I just need to go out and buy a real silk robe. So if you guys have suggestions on silk robes, comment below, let me know. Um, obviously they're probably gonna be a little pricier, but I don't know, I like the idea of it. Here is the um, nude bra that I was speaking to before that I ended up getting two accidentally, so I gifted one to a friend. But it's not quite nude on me, it's definitely a little darker. And um, this is in a 40B, which I love. I love that it's a little bit smaller in the cup. I feel like it fits really, really well. Last time I ordered a bra from them, I definitely felt like I needed to go down in the cup sizes. So I was excited to see that this one came in a 40B. And if it's really, really well, I'm definitely going to be shooting in this um, later today because I'm doing a lot of try-on stuff. So. It's nice to have a good nude bra. I don't have anything. Um, I don't really have any other nude bras that I feel like I would reach for. So I was excited to have another one um, in my resources, <laughs> in my toolkit. I don't know what you would call it, but it's really important to have a good nude bra. Um, I might, you know, peek and see what other nudes they have. I feel like they had a different, um, I'm sorry, I literally just put it on. I feel like they had a couple other nude variations, but I might be wrong. And yeah, it's really, really comfortable. I will say I would love the back strap to be a little thicker. I prefer a four hook and this is only a three. I just like more coverage back there. That's just like, you know, something that I personally feel more comfortable with. Um, and 
Then the underwear, I have two pairs of nude underwear here because like I said, I ordered the bra twice on accident. And I think they're the exact same pair of underwear. I might be mistaken. They look like the exact same pair of underwear. So they are just a nude brief um, cut, I believe. It's not a boy cut or anything like that. They're super silky, they're no show. I really like these. I feel like they fit really well. I would love a little bit more coverage on the hips. Um, I just prefer a higher waist panty generally, but you know, things like this are good for like jeans and stuff that are maybe not the highest rise. I have a couple of pairs of jeans that if I wear my high waisted panties, the panty kind of peeks out and that's not really a good look. I'm not really into thongs anymore. I feel like I kind of got away from thongs like a while ago. Um, but yeah, maybe I should start wearing them more. I don't know. I'm lazy. I just don't like them. I feel they, like I don't need butt floss. Um, <laughs> that's just me. I did get these in a 1X as well. I think both pairs, yeah. Um, and they're really soft and like comfortable and very stretchy as you can see. Moving into the swim, I have three black bottoms and three black tops, so I'm not really sure which top goes with which bottom. So I'm just gonna kind of show you the bottoms first and then move into the tops. So this one is in a 1X and um, I really like this bottom. I think it's really comfortable. I like the stretch. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I know what bra goes with it. So this is the bra that goes with it. Um, I will say, Right off the bat, I love their bottoms. I think that they're great for the higher waisted panty. I think they do the high waist panty for swim really, really well. They're very flattering. They have a lot of coverage. I think like all three of these are like variations that I would wear. And yeah, I mean, there's not too much to say. This is the first pair, very simple. You guys will see them on. And then this one is ruched which I'm not the biggest fan of ruched bottoms, to be honest. I kind of feel like they add more than they like, diminish if that makes sense but i do think they're really comfortable um i mean all three pairs like i said it's ruched in the front and then it has lighter ruching in the back as you can see so front back then this pair is actually very similar to the first pair that i showed as you can see here pretty simple very simple basic black bottom but i always like having these around because i like to like mix and match and then moving on to the bras, I'm not the biggest fan of most of these, to be honest. Um, this one that I'm holding up is definitely not my favorite. This is the back. Do you see how small this is? It's so tiny. I also hate this like clasp situation. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that. I think that it's really hard to keep, like it always wants to move. I do like, if you can see here, it has like multiple sections for it to clasp on. So if you need a little like tightening or anything like that, it is nice that it has that. Um, both of the straps in the back are around the neck. Wow, I can't talk. Both of these straps are also, um, you know, extendable. Like you can really alter them to make them fit. It's a pretty basic black, like, almost looks like a bra. Honestly, I think I'm gonna keep this to use as a bra because I'm not the biggest fan of it as an actual like swim item. I feel like I wouldn't feel very comfortable in this. I just prefer a little bit more coverage and I feel like the back is nothing like at all. Um, but I love the way it looks in the front. It definitely has that like bra sort of vibe, which I'm into. I will say this is also in a 40B, which I really appreciate that they have the actual bra sizes. I feel like that's such a rarity in swim. Like most swim companies or bra companies in general, this is just like a small tangent. I feel like most bra companies, they assume that if you're fat, you have big boobs. And it's so annoying, which is actually the reason that I gave my friend that bra yesterday because she was shooting on set today with a brand and needed a nude bra and she went everywhere and couldn't find anything in her size which is so hard because she has small boobs as well but she's like a larger girl so it's like there's nowhere that we can go just like in store and find our cup size in our bandwidth which is super frustrating because it's hard to find things that are comfortable um and so i love adore me for that because i feel like there needs to be more brands that are doing this
Anyway, tangent over. Um, this one is in a zero X, so it's not by band size. This is probably my favorite top. I love the way it comes. You can't really tell too much, but this is the front of it. And then these guys sort of go, so this goes around, you know, like a bra strap. And then this comes over and flops over your shoulder. You guys will see it better on in the try on portion. Again, I wish the back was a little, you know, thicker. It's not thick at all. It does have, you know, the adjustments here as well. So you can tighten it up if necessary. Both of the straps have adjustments. I love that they're fully adjustable. I feel like that's great. Definitely necessary. Like if you're a shorter girl, you can wear it. If you're petite or if you're taller, I like having the option. I think that's amazing. to one of the last pieces this is um probably the best fitting one. Oh, and i just realized it can also be converted to a strapless which is sort of awesome so that's also an adjustable um let's just clip it on here so it can also be converted to a strapless bra which is amazing i love the way this fits it is a little on the like bigger cup size which is interesting because it is 40B. It fits really well, but it does give me a little bit more push than the other ones. It has more underwire, if you can kind of tell. Um, it's fully adjustable. So the fronts here, you can adjust, like there's two buckle um, attachments here. So you can like move it if you want a little bit more like lift in the front or, you know, whatever. And then the back is not fully adjustable because, or no, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The back is also adjustable. So it has two hooks which I think just definitely gives a little bit more, you know, coverage and also just gives you a little more lift in the back. I feel like it's a little more flattering in my opinion. If it was just one of these attachments, it would be really hard. But I just noticed as well, it also has these guys, which you can see have multiple holes. So again, it's fully adjustable. I love that they really have that option for their swimwear because a lot of swim that I've ordered from um, some recent brands, I've noticed like they're, they don't even have an adjustable strap. So like if it's too long, it's too long, which is so frustrating. More brands need to have adjustable straps. Even a few of the tops I just recently ordered from American Eagle, like their straps weren't adjustable. So like if, I have to go get them altered if I want to wear them, which is super frustrating. So that is definitely a plus for uh, Adore Me. And the last piece, as I throw the box down, the last piece is a swim cover up. And I think this is really, really pretty. I actually feel like I might wear it as a kimono. And it's just like a black and white, I want to say it's like, I don't know what kind of print that is. Um, but it's really pretty. It has like these little tassel details. This is in one size. Um, and it definitely like it fits really well for me. I don't think that the armhole is quite big enough to fit all sizes. So that's my only complaint about this. I feel like I mean, it fits me but I'm not like the atypical plus woman. I'm in more of the in between. -y, so I feel like if you're going to do a one size piece for the plus section, you should maybe vary on the larger sizes rather than the smaller. That's just like my my thoughts on that. Um, I do love Adore Me for a lot of the pieces they do. But I think there's always some, you know, wiggle room and things to learn and move um, onward from. But I do think this is really pretty. Um, like I said, I feel like it fits really well on me. But if you have bigger arms, this may be a little tight at the bottom but um yeah you guys will see it on I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry, I'm looking a little dark. I think the lighting changed when I had to reset the battery. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, if you want to know anything more about Adore Me and my experience with them, comment below and I will see you next time. 